Hello YouTube, Librarian Larry here, and before I begin, I want to do something I don't usually do, and talk about something unrelated to Toontown. In the description of this video, I'll be putting the link to the Black Lives Matter Ways to Help page, and I encourage everyone to please visit it at some point today. It is filled with useful information on petitions you can sign, charities you can donate to, and other ways you can help. I'll also be putting the link to a YouTube video you can watch where the ad revenue will be donated to different charities. You can have it on in the background as you do other things throughout the day and help raise money in the process. Again, I encourage everyone watching to please visit both links in the description and help in any way you can. Now, let's talk about some Toontown. Today I will be quickly talking about two very interesting assets that were recently released to the Toontown community. The first is a group of resource files from Toontown Online. This collection contains original files from TTO that have never been recovered until now. Some interesting discoveries are already being made, such as this texture of a clown, most likely a remnant of when the cogs were supposed to explode into tiny clowns and run away. I'm going to be looking through the files and I plan on making a longer video of any interesting discoveries I or the community might find. I'll be putting the link to the files in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Another asset that was released to the community was Robot Toon Manager. This is a resource the Toontown Online team used to create promotional images for the game, such as blog posts. The software allows you to spawn in toons, cogs, and objects and put them in different environments from the game. I'm still playing around with the software myself, so I don't know exactly how it works yet. But, if I'm able to figure it out, I'll try making a guide on how to use it. I'll also be putting the link to Robot 2 Manager in the description below. So that's all I have to say for now, this was just supposed to be a quick little update video informing you guys of these two tools, but I'll be uploading a very interesting video sometime next week that I think a lot of you might be interested in, so stay tuned for that. So that's all I have to say for now, and I will see you guys next time.